Snip and Sketch is included as a power tour and is the successor of Snipping Tool. With this tool, we can easily take screenshots of an open window, rectangular areas, a freeform area or screen. The scissor cut pieces can then be annotated using a mouse or tablet. It can be stored as an image file PNG, GIF or JPEG file or an MHTML file or sent by email. The snipping tool allows basic image editing of photos or cropped images with different colored pencils, eraser and highlighter. In the previous tutorial, we described the snipping tool application and when we opened the application, information was shared recommending the snip and sketch application, which is a more advanced version of the software. Now, to open snip and sketch, we type the name of the application in the start menu. If you have used it before, its icon will appear in the menu when you type the first letters. OK, we open the application with the scissors icon whose name appears in full. The program opens immediately with a very simple basic interface, and then we activate the application to take a new screenshot. To create a new screenshot, we will try the rectangle mode, which is the first option. Once activated, we drag while holding down the left mouse button to create a rectangular area and as soon as we release the button press, the selected area will be quoted. Immediately, after our field has been cropped, we can make basic edits, place footnotes, create shapes and drawings using the pen and highlighting tools. The other basic tool is the eraser. With the eraser tool, we can selectively erase text and drawings that we have created with a pen or highlighting tool. In addition to all these, we also have tools such as rulers and protractors to help drawing. We can change the position and angle of the ruler tool as we wish, and it is a practical tool that helps us create and measure smooth lines. Thanks to the protractor, it allows us to create drawings such as circular or semicircular arcs at a certain angle and smoothly. Our image cropping feature also allows us to make a crop on the quoted area. After activating the cropping feature, we define the new rectangular cropping area that we will create freely by grabbing the white dots in the corners, and we can edit its position as we wish. If we are not satisfied with the cropping process, we can reactivate it and edit it again. Just press Enter to confirm the cropping. Our next mode choice is the free choice field except we draw with the mouse cursor as if we were drawing a free space. When the application is open or closed, sleeping can be quickly activated with the key combination Windows logo plus Shift plus S as a shortcut. This time, let's save it in full screen except mode. And of course, we will be able to crop it if we wish. As we mentioned before, even when the application is closed, we can quickly activate the screen snipping with the key combination Windows logo, plus Shift, plus is as a shortcut. With the zoom feature, we can enlarge the image to take a closer look and make changes. We can also quickly switch to the actual size of the screenshot via the zoom feature. If we make mistakes during operations, such as drawing, we can use the undo option. As in many applications, we can use the shortcut combination CTRL plus Z for the undo option. We can copy the screen exits we have created and move them to software or applications that perform image processing. For example, we can open it in Microsoft Paint, one of the simplest graphics and drawing image processing software. Apart from Microsoft Paint, we can also open and continue to make changes on other professional art and industry standard software or applications, such as Adobe Photoshop or GIMP or Krita or countless others. It is possible to add footnotes and text on Microsoft Paint that is, to add explanations or to apply other shape and drawing operations 
and manipulations. When we apply cropping in screen excerpts, the drawings and manipulations that are outside the cropping area, that which we add with the snip and sketch application are included in the screen recording. If we only want to include the cropping area, we just need to use the eraser tool to erase the drawings and shapes that are outside the cropping area and that we have added with the software. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.